it's a great i i believe uh, the, uh, the, the, there was a video that came out of nancy pelosi and in the, the, the video they show her uh, going to a hair salon in san francisco getting her hair done and she's not wearing a mask something which she insisted it's became a massive point of contention in the u.s and it's yeah it's become an issue in the u.s so she doesn't wear the mask the video got released and then she said that she uh, she followed the rules and regulations she went to the uh, it was a local hair salon and it was just hair in there and uh, in there i think in the first official response they had they said that she followed the rules and regulation but then people who act check they said that at that time apparently san francisco didn't allow any rules and regulations like the, uh, sorry they didn't allow any one-to-one -one meetings between her, like the rules and regulations at the time did not allow that. I, so, I mean, I'm not 100% sure about that. Then uh, Nancy Pelosi came out and came, they gave this press conference and she said, I do apologize. I apologize for believing the local hair salon and for, for being set up. This was a set up and I apologize for being set up and that's all I have to say. <laughs> And then the shop owner went on Tucker Carlson on yeah. Fox News, and she was like, um, she set it up with our, uh, with our artist or whatever they're called, and how could I have set her up? Uh, and she's being paranoid or whatever. But then the the artist, the hairdresser who does uh, Nancy Pelosi's uh, hair, apparently. It's not, she wasn't an employee of them. She would rent a chair and she, you know, uh, does Nancy Pelosi's hair in there. So it's like she's a contractor. She's not an employee. She's taking legal action against the shop owner saying that it was a setup, apparently. Apparently she arranged it with Nancy Pelosi and then she called to ask if it's okay and they said it's okay but they had a lot of question about nancy pelosi and they speak so it seems actually it was a setup but such a stupid setup and um and nancy pelosi is such a hypocrite and such an idiot i don't understand these are nancy pelosi is super rich her husband is one of the richest people in the state just have them come to your house most of my uh, friends, a lot of my female friends, they have them come to their house or, or they go to their house if they're that desperate to get a you know, hair done or whatever it is. But, so yeah. just don't get it. What like, kind of picture was it taken? Like it was the picture of what, of her inside or? Oh, it's a video. It's a CCTV camera video showing her. I think she's wearing the towel that or whatever, but she's not wearing a mask. It's yeah. so, I mean, it's a non-issue. It's a non-news. It's just yeah. so good there. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And honestly, I think based like out of all the people who are in Congress and Senate, she if looks like she might be even one of the wiser ones. But I mean, she's so in the public, so you see these things. But I mean, the other ones do extremely stupid things all the time. But another huge, this one was so. You remember the ice cream story? from earlier on during the pandemic. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That one, was, <laughs> that one was just insanely ridiculous. Everybody was obsessed with mean, those fridges. And they're true. Those <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. So look, this is my cat. It was like a fucking uh, drawer. It was a massive drawer with ice creams. This is pistachio with a hint of lavender. And this is like this. This is made from milk of cows that are, uh, I don't know, that are virgin born or something. it's crazy. Just so out of touch with. I, I, I wouldn't, to be honest, I'm not a big fan. I'm surprised you say that she's one of the wiser. I would say, I don't think she's one of the wiser. I would say she's one of the drunker members of the Congress. I've, she's always a bit drunk. I feel. But, um, yeah, she, she, she's a great political operator, huh? Yeah, that, that's kind of what I was, yeah, I mean, at least from her side and stuff, the way that she's been dealing with Trump, I mean, she's done a better job than 
than other than Republican men and Democrat men for, uh, um, when it comes to opposing Trump and standing her ground, at least from her her yeah, point. Yeah, sure. her. But that's like saying, you know, that's kind of like saying Obama is better than Mitt Romney. You know, it's not saying, you know, it's like saying, and to be honest, there is nobody else in her position as a stronger position except Chuck Schumer, maybe. So, and I, I don't know. I think her opposition to Trump has been mostly, you know, bullshit, like um, they, tearing up this speech. But then it, it's uh, Jimmy Dore, uh, another uh, YouTube creator, great content. He makes this great point. I think other Glenn Greenwald may, may, may make this point too. That they claim he's a Russian pretty much puppet, right? Or he's either a Russian puppet or he's so outrageous. He's so out of bound that, you know, he's the most crazy person ever or blah, 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 blah. But then they approve his increased military budget. So, you know, it, it's just, it seems to me that everything is just, you know, just talk. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't agree more. I mean, it's obviously all 100% bullshit. It's just that in the optics and in like, and I mean, her competition isn't that good. So, I mean, I just meant kind of between them, you can maybe argue that she hasn't, you know, she hasn't done so no. bullshit stuff. But of course, it's all bullshit. And I forgot about that when he gave a State of the Union and she's like ripping his speech. But exactly, giving him all everything that that he wants which kind of shows just like the problem with Trump is just a problem of appearance, really, and, uh, and optics, not, not necessarily most of the policies that he's, that he's at least trying to implement. Yeah, the, he, he, I mean, look, he's, he's the guy who said, we are going to go out of Afghanistan. And then he had a meeting with generals and come, came out and said, there is loads of money there. So no, we are not coming out of Afghanistan. There's lots of minerals. We're gonna exploit the shit out of them. And he's the guy who, in Syria, basically says, "Yeah, we're gonna stay there and you know take the oil." That's why we're with the Kurdish uh, in the north of Syria. So, you know, yeah, I think their major problem with him is that he just he tells the truth about their intention. You know, yeah. not not tells the truth in a good way. Just tells the truth about how evil they are. So yeah, it's more issue of decorum than uh, substance. So yeah, but I I was very I just was one of those funny stories that you know again like the uh, like the preacher not preacher the uh, fall but Jerry Falwell uh, Jr. Uh, last week it was a great story because first you had them attacking Pelosi then Pelosi responding in such a dramatic way. And then the uh, shop owner coming on Tucker Carlson and the other one suing the shop owner. Just people betraying the other people left and right. It's just great. I, 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 some, I mean, it's a bit muddy, but, you know, I, I enjoy wrestling in the mud sometimes. It's good. No, that was a funny story. That was a funny story. But yeah, so again, it reminded me we should definitely do our projections so I guess in a month or two for who we think is going to win and how based on which states. I mean, it's just so funny, you know, they're like, oh, the Russians gave, stole the elections for Trump and all that. They're like, you know, the, there are mechanisms that you see. Then don't you have this electoral college? Did he not get these votes? This is so, you know, <laughs> two plus two. Well, they're, they're, four. Their, main, their main argument is that they did a, Mm, they did a line media campaign that uh, that shifted the minds of the people. That's which, the best part. First That's of all, they straightforward. But then, like when they start talking loosely, you know, it just it grows from out of that and becomes even more ridiculous. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just even that though. That part of the claim, which is the most concrete part of the claim, is bullshit because they didn't. They like they there was. This, Two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollars worth of ads bought by Russian people. Somebody from Russia, with with no clear connection to the Russian government. So it's just ludicrous. The whole thing is ludicrous. And the, again, the worst part is 
there, there was, in case of Iraq, at least, or even financial crisis, there was a bit of like, we got it wrong, or there, you know, like, oh, we made a mistake, now we have to report these correctly, or whatever. This time, no, they just, yeah, they just don't, they're just it's still going on, no, we were right, and we're going to continue with this narrative.